What's up guys, it's Charles, Charles from Team Black Tech and I'm here to talk about Dual Devastator, its impact on the market as well as its impact on the meta. So as we all know, Farfa, along with in partnership with Konami, spoiled Dual Devastator for us and you know all the cards in it. Um, so what we know, I'm not gonna list everything, it's not a market watch video, but we know about the was it the field centers, uh, all the ghost girls. Stuff like Saryuja, Tornado Dragon, uh, Call by the Grey, and so on and so forth, Tanker Tops. Uh, so yeah, so we know it's, we have all that in there. And here a lot of people upset. First I'm gonna talk about why we haven't we don't see Emperor and Phantasma extravagance in there. So Kalami already said this is a reprint set for the most part. And it was just reprinting staple side cards, uh, just staple cards within your main deck and whatnot, and you could say, well, Charles, Phantasma is a staple main deck card, so why not reprint it? Okay, here's why. Because this set is essentially Konami selling singles, right? You can't just have expensive cards in a set of singles, because it's a guaranteed pull at that point. So you have competitive players and vendors who are having 50, 60, 70, $80 cards, and suddenly you announce this, so all Phantasmus in it, all these start just dropping, just plummeting in price. So why is that a big issue? Well, you have competitive players who, and vendors who just no longer have value on cards. And that's not good for the market. That's not good for people who've invested in the game and investing in their competitive play. Um, so yeah, it would be nice to see it in there but that's asking for too much so an alternative for what, what, what what's a good alternative for Konami well with Ash Blossom Konami has a history just putting well not even just Ash Blossom uh Panker Tops I guess called, yeah now Panker Tops called by the grave Konami tends to put cards in side sets and kind of have a, it has a trickle down effect essentially where you know, it's short brand, a side set, and price goes down a little bit, happens again, price goes down a little bit, and then once it goes down enough, Comedy can now essentially flood the market with set cards. So, yeah, that's just the strategy Konami's done, and we could expect to see, we don't have any major side sets, I know we have one which is, I'm not sure, which is Mystic Fighters. I know we have Mystic Fighters coming up, uh, which I doubt we'll get a fan, we'll get Phantasme in there, but we'll see. So, um, I'd also like to note that this set essentially replaces like legendary duelist sets where you get uh, three decks and you get to play with them. So this replaces that. So the effect... So the question is, is this a good replacement for him? I would say mostly. And the uh, reason I say mostly is I believe in terms of competitive play, it's better, and even to an extent casual play, it's better to have these reprint staples easily accessible to everyone everyone can get them now your casual and budget players can have ass blossom so on and so forth um but now that leaves decks need support there's a little nudge of support now they don't have them they might not have opportunity to get said support um kind of pushes away budget players because remember Konami's a company they have to think about um you know, uh, their entire audience and um, casual players are one of them so now they're not making as many support as much support you could say for your more casual decks so that's the reason why I say that it's just think of your casual players Um, meta impact. This doesn't will have a big impact on the meta. It's just if you, if you have your staples, you have them. This is just for your more budget players. So just expect them more will desks to have new cards that they need, which they at this point they should. 
Um, and as far as Bamus implications go, we might see a hit to Saryuja. Because Konami does have a history of reprinting a card before they hit it on the list, but that's still very debatable. But we'll see what happens. Um, if you like these discussions and you want to see more of it from us, please hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, give us some feedback, feedback, what we could do better. And yeah, this is Charles signing out.